Hi, I'm Alicia Leggett, founder of Jenner McGinn Studio, and this is my daughter, Avery. We're gonna show you how to use the tie-dye kit today. We're gonna walk you through three designs today, the spiral, the bullseye, and the shibori fold. Here are some things included in your kit. Two t-shirts or pillowcases, a mixing stick, soda ash, rubber bands, gloves, three colors, and Ziploc bags. If you picked up your kit, you'll also have a tin and a rack. You'll also need a few things from home. Warm water for the soda ash and to mix with the dye, a tin and a rack if it wasn't included, and a hose or a sink to rinse the dye. Add eight cups of warm water to your tin. Then, sprinkle in the soda ash that was included in your art box. Really mix it well. Some parts might start to harden and that's okay. Just keep mixing till it all breaks up. Once everything is mixed well, add your shirts or pillowcases. Make sure they really get soaked in there. This is gonna help the color stay nice and bright. Let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Then wring out the shirts and dump out the contents of the tin. Now it's time to fill the dye bottles. Take your warm water and fill about a half a cup into each bottle. Make sure you shake it well to mix all the powder. Now it's time to start our designs. We're gonna start with the spiral. Grab a spot in the center and start twisting. Come back to that same spot every time and twist from that center. When it's all done, it'll look a little bit like a tornado. You're gonna grab three rubber bands and cross them. The first one will help hold it in place. The second one will make a T or an X right across. And then the third one will cross again in the middle and you'll end up with six different pie wedges. Next is the bullseye design. Wrap the center of the shirt into a point, making sure that you get the front and the back. Wrap a rubber band tightly around. Take your next rubber band about one or two inches down and do the same thing. Continue adding bands every one to two inches until it's completely covered. The final design that we're gonna show is the shibori fold. This is something that looks like stripes when it's done. We're gonna show this one on a pillowcase. You're gonna make an accordion fold, folding it down and back on itself every one to two inches so that you end up with strips. Continue folding until you get to the end of the pillowcase or the shirt. Once it's all folded, it will look like this. Grab your rubber bands and attach them at the top. Make sure it's nice and tight so you get the stripes. Every two to three inches, add more bands. Continue until you're done all the way at the bottom. Our three designs are now ready to dye. Grab your tin and your rack, and be sure to get your gloves, because this part gets messy. We're using three colors for the spiral design. When you do this design, you wanna do each wedge one color. The wedges across from each other will be the same color. You can see now why it's important to have the tin and the rack. It helps to keep the fabric away from all the spills that happen from the dye. You don't want the fabric sitting down in that bottom, so this keeps it nice and separate. Make sure you get good coverage on each of the sections. Then flip it over, and you're gonna do the same color on the other side. 
When you're done, put it in a Ziploc bag and set it aside. Then you can move on to your next design. For the bullseye, we like to use two colors. Alternate colors in each section. Again, make sure you get good coverage in each section. When you're ready for your second color, fill in all of the sections that you skipped the last time. Remember to turn it over and fill in the colors from both sides. Squeeze out any of the extra dye and then put it in the bag. For the last design, the shibori fold, we prefer to use one color. Use the dye and cover the fabric completely. Remember to turn it over, fill it in on both sides. When you're done, wring out the extra dye and put it in the Ziploc bag. Now we wait for 6 to 24 hours. Before you're ready for the reveal, take a hose or rinse the item in your sink until it runs clear. It might take a couple minutes, but rinsing in the tray lets you see the water and how clear it is. Now's the fun part. Take off the bands and see your designs. Here's our spiral. There's lots of bands to take off on the bullseye. Here it is. Not our best work. And finally, the shibori fold. Remember this one we did on a pillowcase. Looks pretty good. A couple last steps. Wash your tie-dyes in hot water in your washing machine, making sure nothing else is in with them the first time. Then put it in your dryer to set your colors. Note that the colors may fade a bit from the first time you see them. Which design are you going to choose for your projects? We hope you have lots of fun tie-dyeing with the Jenner McGinn Studio Art Box.